If you are a business owner, then likely on your website you will show the different services that you provide to your customers. In this case, we're looking at the Plumber WordPress theme. And in this video, I will explain how you can add additional services to the, to the ones listed here. So for the Plumber WordPress theme, we have central heating, plumbing, sanitary, sewerage, etc, etc. So if we want to add another one, if we want to add the ninth uh, service, what should we do? How can we do that? Uh, the first thing you will have to know is that each of these services links to another article on the website. For example, here we're looking at the, the one for the central heating. If I would click on the read more button, I would be brought to a page that is called central heating. So if you want to add a new service for your kind of business, the first thing you will have to do, even though it doesn't, it doesn't sound very logical maybe at first, but the first thing you will have to do is to add an article to which we can link. Because if that article isn't there, we cannot link the service on the homepage to that specific article. So the first thing if you want to add a new service is to add, uh, to add that article. And, and if you want to add an article, you can use the, the plus icon here at the top. And if I select it, you will use the wizard. I will not go into the details of, of this one here, but uh, I, will, I will select a web page rather than a blog post, because uh, I think that's, that's more appropriate. And I will call this one an additional service. So just replace this one with the name of the service you're adding. Uh, ah, and I can see that apparently there's already a category here that's called services. So I can select this one here. In this case, this page will be added to the services section, uh, which could be practical if you make lists of the different services. Uh, in, 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 in this case, I will select services and I will hit the create page button. The system refreshes the page and as you can see now we are in the an additional service article. I will not go into the details of adding a new text here, but you can fill up of course this page and you should fill up this page with information about what this additional service is about. But I will first now go back to the home page because on the home page there's currently eight items that show up. So that's the ones here. And we want to add the additional service. So how can we do that? Uh, as you can see, if I hover here over this row, you can see that each row consists of a set of columns. It's a predefined set. Uh, it could be either one, two, three, or four columns that are divided into some kind of way. If we go here to the rows tab at the top, if you don't see this bar here, likely you will uh, not yet have enabled this uh, this bar by pressing the, the down the down arrow. If you select the rows tab, then here you can see all the different dividers that's possible for each of those rows. And the one here at the right part is the one that divides the, the, the row into four equal columns. So that's a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, a quarter, um, just like the one that we saw over here. And you can simply drag and drop a new, a new row from the top onto your page um, at any place you like. For example, if you would uh, drop the item here, it will be a new row here between the red section and the first sets of services. I could add it here between the four here at the top and the four bottom, uh, but in this case I will add a new row at the bottom because this will be simply one other set of services that will show up. Okay, so now we have four placeholders that could potentially hold four, uh, four additional services. Um, rather than adding up and, and designing and configuring uh, the elements just like the way they show up here, the most practical thing you can do is simply copy paste one of the existing services because that one is already configured. To, that, that looks the, the, they all look kind of look the same, which is good. So I'll hit Ctrl C just like you would use 
copy pasting from uh, through back and forth of the, the clipboard using Microsoft Word or any other uh, uh, copy pasting you use on your computer. So you can see here the information is saved into the clipboard and it says use Ctrl V to paste it on any page. Um, if I now hover over one of these existing spots and I hit Ctrl V, you can see that all information from this existing service is now replicated. It's cloned, it has made a copy uh, to the bottom section here. And it, work, it would work any, uh, from any place. I will hit Ctrl C here for the chimney sweep and I can paste it over there. And if for whatever reason you want to shuffle the items, by the way, you can simply use the, the cursor key here, which is to move items around. So here you can swap the items, and you can also swap them uh, just for the, the reordering part. But let's focus on adding the new service. So uh, if, if we want to make this one the new added service, I will want to configure this specific spot. And to configure it, simply click on this icon here at the top right part and rename the item as you want. For example, rather than having here a chimney sweep, I will call this one the additional service. And rather than using a home icon, I could simply select another one. If the additional service would be, I don't know, if, if this would be an appropriate icon, simply select it. So we have an additional service. It looks like this one. Uh, change the text over here. So this will be some additional uh, text about the additional service. Um, not make it too long, but make it look like it contains like four rows. That's, I think, a, a nice amount of text. You can change the image. I don't have an image for the additional service, but you could simply select the icon, icon here or select, uh, press this button, upload a new image or pick one from the media manager if it's already there. And at the section for the button, so the button is the one that says read more, for example here, the text is okay, but uh, the button should link to the right article and that's why we had to add the article in the first place so uh, rather than pointing this one to the chimney sweep we want to add this new service to the an additional service so the one that we just created and if you are happy with all the configurations simply hit save this specific role will update itself so now we see here an additional service with some text and if we would hit the read more button, we will be brought to the page that we created earlier on. So that was one more time, the, an additional service article. It's very important that if you want to make the, if you want to make a, a nice, a nice designed website that the, that the items are aligned in a nice way. For example, if you would not use in this case 10 services but maybe you want to use uh, uh, six ones then it could be a good idea to not use four items in a row but to use three items in a row because if you have uh, two rows with each three items that would look better than to have one row filled up with four items and the second one only filled up by by two but you should think about that yourself which which way you want to go um, but I will demonstrate if you want to, to lower the amount of, um, of services from 8 to, for example, 6, then one ID could be, so let me get rid of this row here. We don't need it if we want to have 6 services in total. I will remove the row. And uh, rather than adding a line, a new row, which has 4 columns, we could use and add one that has 3. So I will go to the rows section one time, uh, one more time, and uh, rather than picking this icon here, which is the quarter a row with four parts, I will use the one with three parts, and I can also drag and drop the item here. 
So there they are. And we can simply move the items around. For example, the cent central heating could be moved here. And the cool thing is that you can see that the images automatically uh, scale up. So this one still looks very pretty, I think without us doing anything other than just dragging and dropping the items around. Um, so if you have six surfaces rather than eight, this will be a better lineup. I will remove this row because we also wouldn't need it. And let me drag and drop one more row here, for example, underneath and drag and drop the ones that we want to keep. For example, the chimney sweep and I don't know, maybe the general maintenance would be a good one. <clears throat> and then we can get rid of this one here as well. So truly in a matter of minutes, without knowing anything about design or markups or things like that, you can, you can tune this page in a very easy way uh, by adding new services, adding new rows or changing the, the rows configuration from, for example, four items to three or maybe two. It's all up to you. It's all up to the, the amount of services you want to add here. I hope this was helpful. You could, you could use the same technique for all other WordPress themes. Uh, it it not, not only applies to the Plumber WordPress theme we're discussing here right now. If you have any more questions about how to use the system or if you want to find an appropriate WordPress theme for your kind of business and you want to use the same front-end editing experience that we offer, that you saw in this video, please take a look at our website. Thanks for watching.